Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how you can install any application on your external SD card. Now this is very useful since I have a Samsung Galaxy S4 device which only has 16GB and I can only install 3 or so big applications, especially those really big and graphically immersive games can really, you know, take a lot of space up on your device. So the f application you're going to need for this is Foldermount. It's a free application, you can get it from the Google Play Store. And let's head right in into how you can move any application. So first of all, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can move GTA Vice City, which is a really big game, onto your external SD card. Let's have a look at how much space I have right now. We can see that 4.9.4.9.41 gigabyte are used up. So that's 9 gigabyte and 410 megabytes. It's just completely used up already. Now I can see I only have 16 gigabytes, so I can only install like two more apps and then it's done. That can't be, so I got myself an external SD card, plugged it in, and now let's go ahead and look at the process of how you can copy it to your external SD. You're going to open folder mount, and you're going to head up to this little plus sign right there. Then you're going to name your mounts, which is going to be GTA by City. And then you're going to look for your source. Now here's where it's get a bit tricky. You're going to have to look and look for the folder called Android. You can see that 4.1 gigabyte is in use. And in there, you've got two folders. The data folder, which is basically a folder where all the data of some of the native apps is stored and also some of the smaller apps. And the bigger apps tend to have their data in the OBB file. Now you can see that comrockstargames.gta by city is 1.4 gigabyte of size. Now that's the data uh, folder of GTA by city. So I'm just going to click on that. Click on the little plus here. Would you like to create the destination folder automatically? You should click yes because that makes uh, that means the program will automatically create another uh, destination path on your external SD card so everything runs smoothly. So I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. You can see the destination is on storage. External SD card is the only difference to the emulated part. And then I'm going to hit OK. Is not empty. That is correct. We hit yes. And now it's going to be moving the files. Now you can see in your notification center that it's going to be moving the files right there. It's at 2%. And this may take a while depending on your file size. So I'm going to be back as soon as this is finished. So now that folder mount has finished uh, moving the application, all you need to do, and this is very important, is mount the application, well, mount the data itself onto the external SD card. And to do this, you just need to like tap this little pin there and wait for it to turn green. It says please wait because now it's going to be mounting everything to have everything work. Okay, now it's working. Now let's have a look at our data first of all. And we can see it's 8.3 gigabytes of RAM is in my local storage. Now that just saved me around 1.5 or 2, up to 2 gigabytes of data is now on my external SD card. Now let's just see to prove that this works if GDA still runs smoothly on my device. And we can see it still runs smoothly, everything works fine. So yeah guys, this is just a quick tutorial on how you can install applications on your external SD card. So you can see everything works fine. I do recommend if you do get an external SD card that you get one that's at least the Class 10 Premium Ultra SanDisk. I got myself a 64 gig one. They are a bit pricey, but you know, if you're a heavy user on your iPhone, and especially if you want to have a lot of applications installed on an unlocked device which is only available at 16 gigabytes, then I definitely recommend you looking at this application. Make sure you like my video and subscribe for future tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy S4. Thank you, peace and out.